Hi, welcome to Light Screening, a channel for movie lovers more than movie savvies. So today I'm going to talk to you about, um, well, another Portuguese movie. I'm sorry, I'm Portuguese. I, I watch Portuguese cinema and I, I feel like I should. So I'm going to tell you about Variações. Uh, this is another sort of a biopic of a famous singer from the 80s. Um, although the author says that it's not exactly a biopic, it's a, it's a, a work of fiction because he studied this character for 15 years before he actually went on to do this movie and uh, he, he just uh, decided to um, change some little details so that the movie would be a little bit uh, a little bit more powerful and yet it is a portrait of this character and it is a portrait of a, a very famous musician in Portugal uh, not the best musician technically uh, he himself uh, knew that but he was and I have to say this and, and make it really clear at a time that Portugal had come off uh, um, a, a, a tyranny, uh, a, a tyrant regime, and uh, was still very closed to anything, uh, to most things. Uh, this was a guy that was openly gay, so he was openly gay, he, he was very flashy in his dressing, he was very, uh, he did not tone his personality down because of a, of a, a closed up, a, a closed minded country. Uh, so he made his, uh, his, he left his footstep in history, in, in artistic history in Portugal because he did not tone himself down. He wrote very powerful music, he wrote very open lyrics, very, very powerful lyrics lyrics very intimate lyrics and um, I think it was just two albums that he did but he uh, he just he became this this massive uh, superstar and to these days uh, people are still making tribute to this this musician so his name is Antonio Variações this is a movie about a particular time in his history he was trying to make it you know he was trying to this this portraits the um, struggle and the the sense of mission that he had he wanted to put in his songs out he didn't know music he didn't study music he just had the melodies in his head and he wanted to get them out so this was also a famous barber actually that was his job before he, he became a musician so this this movie is um he's very uh it, it's from the moment that he comes back to portugal to try to make it and the moment that he makes it so um uh, this is this is this is um, a movie by João Maia. He's uh, mainly a TV director. He took it took him 15 years to actually do this project. Um, it's getting great reviews. Uh, I too loved it. Uh, it's it's down my lane. I mean, I love music and musicians, and, and this is this is an interesting film. Um, the the protagonist, the leading man, is Sergio Praia. This is a very experienced, uh, uh, now a very experienced actor. He did uh, some movies, the last one that you may remember if you're Portuguese, it's Parque Meier and also Gabriel. Um, he did some soap operas, Prisioneira, Severa Mar. Um, he actually apparently did the casting for this movie a long long time ago before he was so experienced experienced meantime he uh, actually secured the same character in a play in theater and so this kind of made him be Antonio Variações for a few years and let me tell you, for me, I, I remember Antonio Variações when I was a kid. And let me tell you, there is no difference. There is no physical difference between these two. I mean, great care, great characterization, great uh, the the. I mean, the whole thing. And let's start by by talking about uh, what I like and what I didn't like about the movie. First of all, I liked the movie. Period. So the best about it, um, the best about it is uh, it protected his image and his personality. I think it was very elegant in the way it portrayed his history and his personality. I think it was um, very contained and very toned down and very respectful in that way. It it uh, 
it, it's clear who this person is it's clear what motivates him but it it doesn't uh, it doesn't need too much you know there are some little details in the lines and in the scenes that uh, kind of portrayed very 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 uh, basically what this man was about so I think it was very elegant in that way in in protecting his legacy say even with the songs the the movies driven by the songs and the songs um, they have a uh, obvious because he he wrote about his intimacy uh, and about his uh, his way of seeing life and the way he actually felt uh, and there is a, a very strong connection between the events and the songs and that is very well done it's really interestingly done it's driven by them uh, by the songs and, and that is really well done uh, also the sceneries the, the sets the houses the clothes the everything that portrays the 80s very interestingly done a very kitsch very it's it, it's it's a little over the top i mean not all the houses were like that and not all the people were dressed like that but in, in not all the colors were so flashy but i think it was appropriate i think for the character that was being portrayed i think it's it's a really cool option great research great a great uh, a great um painting of the time i think it was uh it, it's a sample of the time of everything and in, in, in very much so of the time and I, I like that another thing that i loved there is this other guy philippe duarte who plays uh, fernando ataid who's apparently the love of antonio variason's life um I mean, the chemistry in between those two is amazing. I mean, it's more what you don't see and what you feel than what they actually say and do, which is so beautiful. I mean, it's really beautiful. I mean, it's the the way they look at each other, the way they, the chemistry is unbelievable. I mean, there it, there was just one look and one. I mean, I mean every time they're in scene together, there it's so. Oh, your heart cries. I, I can't say it differently. I think it was amazing. Uh, the, the, it's better than I... It's one of the best couples I've ever seen on screen. I'm, I'm not kidding. Y you get it without one line. You know, every time they're on scene, you just get it. You, and, and that is gorgeous. Uh, that too, I think that uh, Fernando Ataid um, was the owner and the founder of a very famous disco in Lisbon uh, called Trump's. Uh, Trump's has a very strong, a very powerful history. It's still there today. Uh, I'm not sure. I think it, it closed for some time. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not going to get into that because I'm not sure. Anyway, Trump's was a place where everyone was welcome. And uh, to this day, it's got... It's got um, I think it's still there, uh, Lugar as Novas, which is a, um, a drag queen uh, contest. So from the moment it opened to this day, Trump's is a, is a meaning of, of uh, you know, acceptance and, and freedom. So uh, I found it interesting. I had no idea uh, that these two people, these two persons were intimate uh, or even friends. So I found it interesting to see uh, the beginning of Trump's in this movie. So that was interesting too to me. Um, what do I think, um, what don't I like so much? And in, in I'm not sure this is the right way to say it because I loved the movie, but I could have been there and this is the best compliment you can make to a movie. I mean, I could have been inside that room watching that story and that character and those characters for another two hours. So I think there was so much more to say. And that is probably the worst part of it is that I wanted more about that love. I wanted more about uh, about uh, even the concert that he, he dreams of doing with Amalia, uh, opening for Amalia. Rodrigues, Amalia Rodrigues, the goddess of Faro. Um, Antonio Verissons dreams of playing with her. And um, I wish I'd seen more of it, you know. I wish I'd got, you know, the full story of his decadence let me just put it that way for all of those who don't know the story of uh, Antonio Variações if you ever see it abroad you probably won't know the story and I, I don't want to spoil it for you but I wish I knew more um, about uh, the 
decadence of Antonio Variações. Um, you know, this is the best compliment you can make. I, I'd be there f for another hour or two, and especially seeing those two characters on screen and those two actors on screen, I think, I think they did the best job ever. I don't remember... I mean, there are a few other films that I could mention, but I don't remember lately a couple that worked so well uh, chemistry-wise. That was brilliant. Um, I have to say, and this is a, a note about my channel, uh, I have to say thank you to Rick Ann Baker from San Francisco and Maria Petrov, with whom I've been having some conversations in the comment section. Uh, thank you so much for your attention and thank you so much for uh, supporting me. And that's that's it's it's it was fun. And uh, I'm sorry if I haven't seen any comments from anybody else because I was told recently I'm, I'm not a professional at this. I'm just playing with this. Um, it's for fun and people used to ask me what I thought about the movies I saw because I, I see a few quite a few movies and so this is for fun I'm not a professional yet and somebody told me that I'm looking at the comments in my smartphone and I'm probably missing some comments uh, because not all of them are shown in, in my smartphone so I have to check that out I'm sorry if I'm, I'm mentioning just you and there are more uh, I, I have to check that out I'm so sorry if I haven't yet um, and if you want to tell me uh, any of you uh, for instance, a, a singer or a musician that you know in your country and that is not the best musician technically, but it's somebody that uh, wasn't afraid of being authentic and, and kind of made, uh, um, you know, left his footprint in history, his or her footprint in history. Comment below. I'd love to know about it. Or somebody who inspires you personally. Uh, I'd love to know about it. And uh, thank you for watching and go to the movies.